Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about how to use PowerShell uh, to leverage and call Microsoft Graph API. So first of all, um, all you need is an app registration, uh, which is done on Azure Portal. If you need any help or assistance creating an application on Azure Portal using Azure Active Directory, I already have a video for it. I'll uh, drop the link to that video in the description. All right, let's get started. So. First of all, I already have one PowerShell script which I've created before the video. Uh, we we'll need to fill in some details and then we would be good to call this Microsoft Graph API through it. All right, so first of all, it needs the client ID. So uh, if you go to your application registration and the overview section, uh, you need to copy the client ID. Uh, just paste this particular client ID over here. Uh, then ask for client secret. Uh, to get the client secret, uh, you need to go to the client certificates and secrets page. Just copy the value from here and paste it over there. All right, once you have that, uh, we would need the tenant ID. So to get the tenant ID, just click on the overview section and uh, copy the tenant ID from there. So I've copied the tenant ID. So once you have this three details, uh, we are going to call the Microsoft Graph. So now I'll open the PowerShell. Okay, I'll copy the lines from my script. I'll paste it. All right, uh, so now we have pasted those three variables. Uh, we have token body variable uh, which uses grant type as client credential. Uh, scope I'm going to use is as a default scope. So default scope says that uh, bring me all the permission which are there uh, under the API permission section. So default scope going to bring all the permissions which are listed over there. And then the client ID and client secret are just using the variables which we listed above. OK, so once we have the token body variable funded, uh, we can use the token response variable to invoke the token endpoint uh, to get the access token. So we're going to use this particular token endpoint to get the access token. So once we invoke this token endpoint, the access token will be stored in token response variable. So once you have that access token, we're going to create a variable known as headers. This header will have the access token along with the content type, which is application slash JSON. All right, so once you have the header which contains the access token, you can just append this header to the URL, which is calling Microsoft Graph, and um, we should be good to go uh, with that particular header. All right, so I've already copied this. I'll copy this as well. All right. OK, no error so far. Uh, once we have done that. I have invoked the token for the token response. Now I'm going to use the header. OK, so header is also done. And if I look at this variable, um, token response slash access token, it should give me the access token. Oh, I gave the double N. OK, so it, it, it gave me the access token, uh, which we need to call the Microsoft Graph. OK, so now we have the access token. We can simply use uh, this graph URL. OK, so I'm going to call graph.microsoft.com v1.0 slash users. OK, so in order to call this particular endpoint, we would need the access token inside the headers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use invoke rest method uh, doing a get call, uh, appending the URL, which is calling Microsoft Graph, and on top of that, I'm appending the headers. Now, this particular header variable contains the access token, like this one, right? All right, I hope you understood uh, what we are trying to do here. Once I click enter, it should give us a call. Yep, there you go. All right. I hope you guys understood uh, how to use PowerShell for Microsoft Graph. If you need any help or if you have any questions, please drop them inside the comment section and uh, I'll be able to do it. All right, thank you. Bye bye.